Hello and welcome to this PV Tech Tech Talk webinar in conjunction with Longi. It's been launched as part of its launch of its HIMO 6 PV module for distributed generation sector. My name is Sean Roach and I'll be your host for today's webinar. Joining me is Francisco Estella, Longi's Technical Director for Europe. Francisco is going to provide an in-depth introduction to Longi's next generation product, the HIMO 6 series module, which has been designed for the distributed generation and rooftop sectors. Before we start, a bit of housekeeping on my end. The webinar is going to last around 45 minutes and will include opportunities for audience questions. You can use the di uh, dialogue box on your screen to submit those questions. The webinar is also being recorded and will be available on demand via PB Tech later today. But without any further ado, I'm going to hand over to Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, for giving us this opportunity to to speak about uh, our new product, HIMO6, that, uh, as you have told, is a product that is very focused in the distributed uh, sector uh, or segment. Then uh, we are speaking about uh, residential, commercial, and industrial. Then, uh, basically, we will start uh, with a small introduction about uh, about Longi with some figures, just to, to have an idea. Uh, in 2021, uh, the operating income will reach uh, the 12 uh, billion dollars with a net profit of 1.4 billion and with an investment in research and development of near 700 million. Then in terms of production, the wafer cement will reach the 75 gigawatts that, uh, that is the highest in the market. The, the module cement reach 39 gigawatts and the, the, for this year that we are having is a wafer capacity of 150 gigawatts and a module capacity of 85 gigawatts. Then our company, you know, is based in, in China, but uh, we, we have offices in a lot of uh, countries in all the continents. Then uh, we are more than 60,000 people and uh, we have uh, several uh, manufacturing bases that uh, is, uh, is helpful in order to reduce uh, some, some eventual risk. Then uh, in, in Longi, we are, we are proud uh, to, to to be part of this uh, of this market with uh, with uh, leading the technology that uh, that uh, we are providing like uh, robust reliable uh, we were part of the m6 uh, silicon wafer standard to to promote uh, the m6 uh, silicon wafer the m10 that is the the most popular now that uh, we are producing that's uh, another important parameter is that uh, the monocrystalline uh, solar cells uh, uh, has been always our our root in in that in this uh, in this sector, and the monoperc technology has been one of the advantages that uh, we have introduced, like uh, high volume manufacturing. Then uh, also the bifacility uh, has been one of the characteristics of our models since the beginning. Okay. If we make a little bit of uh, of history, at the beginning when we are speaking about in the 2000, 2016, uh, we have uh, the cell efficiency of the solar wafers or solar cells uh, was uh, as, as low as uh, 20%, basically, basically because uh, they were based in polycrystalline uh, wafers. Then uh, we introduced the, the, the polycrystalline back surface field. Then this is uh, the, the typical solar cell we, we use in the past. During the 2016 and 2021, that uh, we have done is to introduce the monocrystalline technology. Then uh, with the PEC cell technology that we reach between the 21 and 24% of efficiency. Then polycrystalline has been, uh, has been practically eliminated and monocrystalline has been chosen as the best technology to improve the LCOE. Uh, now that uh, we are launching now is a new generation cell technology. It's uh, called HPBC, it's a, a hydrogen passivated back contact, okay? And uh, the cell efficiency that uh, we are reaching in, in high volume manufacturing is uh, exceeds the 25% in efficiency. Uh, this technology has uh, practically like uh, three characteristics. One of them is the light absorption that uh, we have uh, achieved with, uh, with this uh, hydrogen passivation, we have achieved to put uh, like uh, several layers that uh, optimize the light absorption and the photoelectric conversion. Obviously, as we have not uh, as we have not uh, contacts in the front side, the the photoelectric conversion is also improved because we have not shadows. 
Then uh, the, in terms of conductivity, uh, all the all the buses are, are are in the in the back side. Then uh, this is an advantage because uh, we have no constraints about uh, the, the size of this uh, this kind of uh, buses. Okay. These models or those models because will be a full family are based in the M10 standard size. This means uh, the M10 is a 182 millimeter size and uh, it's full back uh, interconnected, uh, the mono monocrystalline wafer. We are using P-type uh, wafers. Okay, this is a technology that uses P-type. Uh, uh, the, the aesthetic is, uh, is uh, quite incredible, in particular in the cases that uh, we are using the all black uh, models. The current that, uh, that provide this model is below the 15 amps and this is uh, quite convenient not only for the inverters but also for the the, the cables but because we don't need uh, typically we don't need to to increase more than uh, four millimeters uh, the, the the section and uh, the temperature also ensures that uh, the, the the performance of uh, those modules are uh, quite uh, quite uh, good in 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 warm conditions we have a uh, high six has a family is a family of uh, different uh, kind of models. Okay, we have like uh, four different uh, products. The first one is Explorer. We call Explorer. Is the, the 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 most will be the most standard model that uh, we will produce. Is the, the has a performance improved in versus the the typical perk. Okay. And uh, the the behavior is uh, we will see we will see later exactly the the, the, the characteristics. But uh, after this we have the scientist that uh, is very similar but uh, with higher efficiency. Okay, the the, the best efficiency are uh, allocated to this uh, to this model, and also has uh, some extended uh, extended warranties. Then uh, this is that uh, we call uh, Pro. Okay, Guardian is the third of the, the family. That this is a, a module with uh, optimizer inside. This uh, will be a, an advantage, in particular in, in markets uh, where there is necessary some uh, some measurement of each uh, specific module. We can monitor one by one each uh, module, and also can provide uh, more protection against of, uh, against uh, short circuits or any any uh, strange condition that uh, can happen in a PV installation. The last one is HIMO6 Heart Artist is the, the colored uh, module option. Then uh, in this case, we will have not only black, uh, black uh, aesthetics, but uh, we'll have uh, different colors that uh, will be low even to integrate better in the, in the, in the buildings uh, to, to make it uh, easier for architects uh, or some, uh, some specific, uh, some specific uh, building. Inside of, uh, of those uh, families, we have uh, different uh, series. Uh, series means practically the, the sizes, okay? Then now the first, uh, the, the first models that we will put in the market are the 54 cells and the 72 cells, okay? Then uh, the first model that uh, you see in your, your left is the 54 cells uh, all black, we call HTB. The second is uh, similar is the uh, same size, but instead of uh, the back seat, instead of uh, to be black, is white. Okay. Then uh, with this, uh, the aesthetic is not the same, but you have some extra watt. The fifth one is the HTH, that is uh, 72 cells, monofacial. And the last one is the HTD, 72 cell bifacial. Okay. Even if uh, those products are basically uh, thinking in the, in the DG market, the, the biggest one can be used also in the in the utility uh, market. Okay, it's the, also typical to use on, on that. Nevertheless, uh, we will we will manufacture also in 2023. We will start manufacture also the 60 cells and 66 uh, solar cells. Just to have uh, some idea about uh, the typical parameters that uh, we are obtaining uh, with the 54 cell all black. We are speaking about a power, a range power between 410 and 440. Here, that uh, you are seeing is uh, the aggregated of uh, the explorer and the scientist. Okay, here is just uh, to simplify the, the the picture. Then uh, the main power that uh, we we'll manufacture will be around uh, 420, 430. This will be the mainstream models, and the size 
that is uh, relevant to say here is that uh, the frame will be uh, we have uh, 30 millimeters then this uh, will will allow to us uh, to to ship more modules per container and uh, the size is below two meters that is very convenient two square meters that is very convenient in particular to work in the in the roof in the rooftops in the case of the 72 cells we had the monofacial and bifacial okay in the case of the monofacial we can reach up to 600 600 watts you must remember that uh, this power is uh, considering the 182 uh, millimeters uh, the n10 wafer then uh, in the case of the bifacial we reach a little bit less this is the effect of the the, the white back seat but that's uh, normal and in these cases uh, the the frame we need to to reinforce and to ensure the mechanical properties uh, and the, the frame is 35 millimeters okay the degradation uh, warranty in this case uh, we are speaking about uh, a big advantage in front of uh, perk because uh, the first year is, will be below 1.5 percent and uh, the line the linear annual degradation after the, the first year will be 0 0.4 typically in the the monofacial in perk was uh, 0 0.55 the temperature coefficient uh, of uh, pmax is as low as uh, 0 0.29 percent and this is uh, another big uh, characteristics just uh, to to have some uh, image image of the of the data sheets uh, that uh, you will have uh, now you have in in our website uh, you can see that the explorer in the case of the explorer uh, you have 15 years warranty for for a product and 25 for for uh, for power okay and in the case of the scientist we can reach up to 25 years in product warranty and 25 in in power in power output as you can see the difference in 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 wattage is uh, that uh, in explorer we reach uh, 420 watts and in the case of a uh, scientist we are starting 430 watts and we reach up to 440 okay the all black uh, the all black uh, model is uh, the frame is black uh, the back seat is black and obviously the solar cells without uh, the, the the contacts in the front side uh, give uh, this appearance of uh, homogeneous uh, black then this uh, at the end uh, this kind of product uh, has arrived to the market to solve practically four different uh, issues one of them is the aesthetic some people prefer to have a uh, homogeneous uh, pure black uh, that is uh, more aesthetically pleasing that's uh, to have uh, our typical uh, models with uh, pack technology okay in which uh, you can see the grid in the in the front side then this uh, is a parameter that is uh, very welcome for some very exigent uh, customers the second is the efficiency uh, as we have seen uh, with uh, the main difference uh, will be the efficiency in this uh, in this model versus the, the perk that uh, will allow to us in the same area in the same roof we can install around 4.5 percent more uh, power that uh, this will help uh, to reduce uh, the the cost of the installation at the end because uh, the structure will be the same the cables will be the same the the labor will be the same then at the end it uh, will help uh, to the to the final customer to have a better better installation with the same price the temperature coefficient uh, in the case of the perk we we know that is uh, around uh, 0 0.34 and now we we have uh, obtained uh, 0 0.29 this is uh, in particular this is very convenient for uh, the, the performance in in hot climates okay for instance in the south of europe the fifth year degradation we have seen that uh, we pass from uh, two percent in the perk to 1.5 in the in the high six the yearly degradation in the case of the monofacial from 0 0.55 to 0 0.4 and this 0 0.4 uh, is for monofacial and for bifacial in both cases in the past we have some advantage in the case of the double glass but uh, now we have the same degradation in both uh, cases then uh, it's an improved uh, stability but uh, to better understand uh, the advantages of uh, this technology we must consider also the, the behavior in the in the, the better behavior in the light absorption and low irradiation performance then uh, for instance 
in areas like uh, north of uh, north of uh, Europe, in which uh, we have some days with uh, lower irradiation, the the performance is better in the HIMO six that uh, in the PERC uh, technology. Okay, in the in the range of the 200 and 400 uh, watts uh, per square meter, uh, the the difference is uh, quite uh, quite nice. And uh, in parallel, we have uh, another characteristics is that uh, this uh, this model has a or this kind of cell has a higher voltage. Then uh, this allows uh, to to wake up the inverters earlier in the morning, and to to keep uh, generating up to some time later in the afternoon. Then we have uh, the period in which uh, we are generating electricity is uh, is uh, longer. Okay. Here you have uh, a couple of examples uh, regarding the uh, regarding the generation. We have uh, considered in the north of Europe, Stockholm, uh, Sweden, and the south of Europe, uh, Madrid, Spain. Then uh, the first uh, the first uh, advantage that is uh, we have. Uh, Told before is a 4.5 percent uh, better is uh, basically because of the efficiency of the models okay in both cases the gain is the same we are considering an installation of uh, 16 models with m10 uh, cell size then uh, the annual performance you can see that is uh, is two percent better in the case of Stockholm and 2.4 percent uh, better in Madrid this is mainly because of the IAM the low irradiation but uh, in, in particular, because of the temperature coefficient that is helping in, in warmer areas like uh, like Madrid. Then with all that, the first year we can obtain an increase of the energy generated of a, between a 6% and a 7% in, in depends of the, of the sites. Okay. If we additionally consider the advantages of the, 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 the yearly degradation and the first year degradation, then uh, we can we can see that in both cases we obtain a gain of 2.7%. Uh, then uh, this means that at the end of uh, 25 years, the energy generated arrived to a 10% near of 10% more in the case of the HIMO6 than in the case of a PERC module. Okay. Then uh, this is more or less the, the the main advantages in technical technical aspects. Another point uh, that uh, we have been trying to, to improve is the reliability. Okay, it's another parameter that uh, is uh, quite uh, relevant for all the all the customers. Uh, in the case of the single glass uh, module, this is uh, the monofacial, typically, that uh, we can provide up to 25 years uh, warranty and 25 years. Uh, the, the first 25 years is regarding the, the the warranty of the model and the and the the performance the power warranted is 88.9 in the second case case uh, we have the dual glass uh, model that is a uh, 30 years warranty and we we can provide up to 86.9 percent of uh, power output okay then this is an, an advantage that uh, we can we can provide to to the customers okay in terms of reliability, it's important to to remark also that uh, that uh, the solar cells are welded in the backside only. Then, uh, as we we don't use the traditional uh, Z uh, shaped welding structure, then we can reduce the the stress that is produced in the in the corners of the or in the edge of the of the wafers. Then, uh, this is in particular one point that uh, we we pay a lot of attention. In order to avoid micro cracks, then in the case of the new technology, this uh, those micro cracks uh, make no sense because uh, you have not this uh, this uh, this stress or point of uh, stress. Okay, then uh, is a, is a better technology for that. And in terms of uh, reliability, even if the IEC standard assumes that uh, the degradation after to make uh, the, the extended test that uh, are Mm, with uh, several runs or cycles with uh, very very hard conditions even if the IC standard assumes that uh, can be approved or can be accepted a degradation less than a five percent in our case we are speaking about a technology that uh, the degradation is lower than 0 0.5 percent then uh, that's a behavior that uh, that is difficult to to match in the market 
last uh, last point that uh, we want to to incorporate in the in the in this uh, technology is uh, the, the some kind of uh, intelligence or some kind and some kind of uh, safe safety then the, the first one is uh, the intelligent monitoring okay we can we can monitor the the modules in real time through through some electronic devices that uh, we include in the in the installation we have uh, in terms of safety we have a rapid uh, shutdown that uh, decrease in case of abnormal uh, situations uh, can decrease the the output voltage uh, to below one volt and uh, we have uh, we have the possibility to have real time optimization this means that uh, when we speak about uh, to increase the power generation by 5 to 50% we are speaking that uh, that it doesn't matter if uh, the the modules uh, are well oriented or not in the same string this means that uh, in the typical modules when you have not the optimizer the, the worst module is uh, is a uh, is a uh, uh, capping or, or is uh, uh, placing in difficulties the rest of the models okay the, the worst model is the the the, the who, who match uh, or who, who who mark the 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 all the string uh, performance then in this case uh, even if you have one model with uh, some uh, shadow bad orientation or with uh, some uh, leaf on, on on the top or something like that this uh, doesn't uh, doesn't affect to the rest of the of the string and the last one capability increase we are speaking about uh, the possibility to have uh, more modules in in one string in the cases of a uh, roof with different uh, orientations this is the typical case that uh, we can we can find in which uh, in the left side we use an inverter with uh, two mppts and uh, you use it with you use two different orientations and the strings must be adapted to those orientations in the in the right side then uh, you can use more space in the same uh, in the same home or in the same uh, building uh, and uh, with different uh, with uh, more different orientations and you are not uh, constrained with the orientations to 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 make all the wiring of the of the strings then uh, that's another uh, good uh, option now that uh, this slide is, is, is relevant because uh, this product is, is just to, to say when you can buy those modules okay now in, in this uh, q4 we have started uh, the, the production in fact uh, in, in October we have also launched uh, some uh, some uh, megawatts uh, in production but uh, now in uh, in q4 we have the stable supply with uh, good efficiency and uh, then uh, we have the, all the material guaranteed then uh, we can we can proceed uh, with uh, the, the sales okay and the forecast uh, for 2023 is for this specific uh, product we will allocate a capacity of uh, 25 gigawatts then uh, we will have uh, a more more stable uh, production we will have a ramp up obviously but uh, but uh, the the capacity that uh, Longi will allocate for this uh, distributed generation uh, segment in this particular HIMO6 uh, technology will be 25 gigas. Last uh, but not least, uh, Longi won't uh, not only sell the, the model but uh, want to provide also services. Then uh, with this uh, HIMO6 uh, HIMO6 uh, launching, we will take care of a improved service uh, improved uh, service management then uh, at this point uh, we are optimizing and uh, increasing our our service capabilities to uh, perform a better a better uh, help to our distributors and installers that uh, needs uh, any kind of uh, any kind of support from our side then uh, basically that's uh, that's uh, the presentation of this uh, HIMO6 uh, technology. As you can see, it's a very nice product with uh, very good properties for our solar market. Thank you very much for that, Francisco. So now we've reached the point where we're going to take some audience questions. I can already see tons of them coming in, which is great. Just a little reminder to everyone that you can still submit those questions in the tab on your screen. 
We probably have only enough time to get through a few of them, but let's just fire away. So I think I've got a question here, which has said, we've seen the differences in the presentation between the HIMOS 6 um, with PERC modules. What are the main differences when it comes to TopCon, Francisco? Well, TopCon is uh, another technology that is, uh, is a good technology, obviously, but uh, for instance, the in terms of uh, aesthetics, uh, obviously the HIMOS 6 is uh, quite better, okay? Technically, uh, some parameters are very similar. We are speaking about a very similar uh, behavior in front of the temperature, uh, very similar degradation. Then in terms of uh, this uh, point is uh, very similar. In terms of uh, reliability, we think that uh, HIMO 6 is better because uh, we are not uh, this uh, welding of the, the, the solar cells in the front and the back. Then we can reduce the, the eventual or potential micro cracks. And in terms of uh, warranties, uh, I think that uh, to provide uh, the 25, uh, 25 years, up to 25 years in product and in production, uh, I think that uh, not uh, all Topcon are providing that. And I think that uh, has uh, good advantages. Okay, thank you, Francisco. So we've got another one asking whether the HIMO 6 modules will already come with third party certificates and PAN files. We have it. We have it. Then uh, we have had uh, all this uh, all this job before, and uh, we have all the certificates uh, in this case by by TUV, okay, and uh, we have all the all the all ready to be directly to int introduced in the in the PVCs or in different uh, different softwares, but also all the certificates uh, are ready. Then this is a product that is uh, totally sellable, sellable. Okay, thanks. So another person is asking whether Longi will be discontinuing perk production. No, we will not uh, discontinue perk because uh, we think that uh, this is a premium product, okay, and uh, and perk technology will still be uh, will still be the the, the workhorse, okay. Then uh, even in in more in utility than in DG, but uh, even in DG in some uh, some countries maybe they prefer to use uh, still the, the perk technology. Or some uh, some customers prefer to use uh, the PERC technology. Okay, we'll thank continue. You. Um, so I've got another person asking why you consider this product for the distributed generation market in particular, uh, and could it also be used in the utility scale segment too? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, basically, this is a product that is uh, thinking in uh, in in DG, but uh, uh, the by facility could be. A little bit lower than uh, the the other technologies that uh, are used now in in in, in utility, but uh, in any case, uh, the for countries that uh, they are more used to use uh, the, the the monofacial or fixed structure, this is a perfect uh, perfect model to to be used there, no problem. Okay, thank you. Francisco. So someone's also asking about the new scientist family, which has efficiencies and product warrant. Will the cost per watt be different than the Explorer family, they're asking? Uh, most probably, yes, because at the end uh, that uh, we are providing is a very premium product, very premium product. And this uh, uh, will be, uh, will be, uh, will have a, a, an extra cost for sure. I, I don't expect that is uh, too much because uh, it should be very similar, but uh, for higher efficiencies, uh, uh, probably yes. Yeah, so it's asking about whether the warranties, uh, the cost per what will be different for scientists versus the Explorer family. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, the question is that uh, uh, this, uh, this scientist is a, a, a premium product. Then uh, most probably we'll have a... a uh, an extra extra cost, most probably. Okay, thanks. So someone else is asking, how does a megawatt per acre compared to 10 years ago? It seems that number hasn't come down, which is counterintuitive given the efficiency improvements. If you could explain a bit about that, Francisco, that would be great. Can you, can you repeat the question, please? How does the megawatt per acre compare to 10 years ago? So the, the cost per acre, megawatt per acre, um, it seems the number hasn't come down, they're saying, which is counterintuitive. Yeah, no, at the end, I have not exactly the, 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 the number, but uh, the difference is big because uh, 
10 years ago, we were speaking about uh, a little bit more of 20% uh, in solar cells efficiency. And now we are speaking about more than 25%. Then uh, this is a big uh, difference. This is a big difference. Okay, thank you. And then someone else is asking, uh, in the geographic markets, will the HIMO 6 modules be available? Well, the idea is uh, to introduce in all Europe, probably will be in several phases, not uh, not uh, in all, all the countries, because uh, at the end, there's a, a lot of countries, but it uh, will be uh, phased, okay? And uh, But this is a question that uh, is more regarding sales than uh, technical topics. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Uh, so another question coming in is does the um, hpbc technology use split cell or half cell architecture pardon can you repeat does the does the cell technology use split cell or half cell architecture half cell we use a half cell obviously we beat uh, we are interested to use this kind of uh, architecture because uh, uh, has a, a lot of advantages in front of the the big uh, the big cells the or bigger a bigger cell in terms of uh, temperature in terms of hotspots in terms of uh, a lot of things then uh, half cells a maximum 182 millimeters okay thank you and long longi has made a big point in the past of uh, targeting hpbc over topcon is that the strategy moving forward and can you explain a bit more about that please well, at the end, uh, Topcon is uh, also a good uh, technology. Uh, it's a different technology, but uh, uh, in the past, uh, Longi decided uh, to avoid this uh, technology because it's not still too mature in terms of uh, of, uh, of equipment uh, to manufacture in high volume, uh, high volume scale. Then uh, has some constraints. So, or some difficulties, even the, for instance, the, the, the wafer is in type that is more difficult to, to obtain the high purity and to have a good uh, stable production. Okay, that's another problem. And uh, obviously, uh, we need to, to, to check all the constraints that uh, can appear in cases like, uh, like, I don't know, silver, for instance, the, the silver use. Then that uh, I was telling that, uh, uh, the, the, the token is a good technology, but uh, till now, uh, Longi prefers to to choose another technologies with uh, less uh, high volume uh, manufacturing uh, risk in the future in terms of cost. We need to to provide the best in the case of utilities. We need to provide the best LCOI, and by now the best LCOI still is in the in the pet technology. And for DG is uh, is different because uh, you doesn't look only the doesn't search only the the LCOE, but uh, with you, you look for another additional characteristics, like uh, you have, uh, for instance, uh, restrictions in the in the rooftops, then uh, of, of size. Then you need to, to have a more efficient uh, models, and that's uh, the difference. I see. Thank you, Francisco. Unfortunately, everyone, that's all we have time for today. This is a little reminder that the webinar will be available on demand via PV Tech shortly. Thank you very much again, Francisco, for taking the time to speak to us and indeed the audience for your attention. The next PV Tech Tech Talk webinar will be on the 8th of November and more details of this will be released shortly. But thanks again, everyone, and we hope to see you next time.